want practice to be started no later than 10 o'clock. We run the song, 12 o'clock. We take down all the cans, we load them into the truck. Everybody is helping. Nothing beats the feeling of walking into a stadium filled with so many people knowing, like when you walk in, that all these people are here to listen to you. And like, especially when you're a young kid, it's probably one of the greatest feelings in the world. The second that last pan is set up and everything's good to go, like that's when you sort of start to take it in because everyone's like filing in, getting into their seats, and uh, some people are starting to practice, and it, that's just like the moment you really get into it. It's, it's scary, but it's a great feeling. Yeah. There's nothing that compares to it at all. Band number seven, JK Vibrations. Honestly, I love coming here every day. I travel all the way from Oshawa. That's 40 minutes by GO train, an hour on the freeway. The old people, please make sure the new people are finding a pan, finding where they belong. Every section has a leader that will help you with the music. I know for some of you that have never played before, it's getting, it's a little difficult. If you know it from school, then you help people that don't know it. Every summer, um, me and the band, the JK Pan Vibrations, um, we practice for about, I would say, one and a half months for this competition, which happens in August. And it's for, it's a big, big competition with a bunch of bunch of bands. So you wouldn't think they'd be kind of an art to banging on a can or a tin, you know, can, but there really is. When I tell my friends that I play steel pan, they're like, what is that? I've never heard of it before. My grandmother was always like, you would rather bang on pots and pans than play a classical, musical, timeless instrument. Each instrument kind of has a Remnants are like replication of the names of an actual classical instrument you would find in a symphony orchestra or like a regular orchestra. Here's the bass, uh, consisting of six pads for the lower sound. Here's the cello, also known as the three pad. Here's the guitar section. And this is also a variation of the cellos, except only with two pads. We venture over to the front line where we got the one and only tenors. They play a higher pitch sound to help play the melody song. We got the double seconds. They're really in the middle of the band to sort of hold it together. Last but not least, the double tenor, which is just like our friend here, the tenor, except it's two uh, pans for a little bit of a lower sound. Week one, that's when everyone's coming back, so trying just to get into the new groove of coming back to play pan for the summer. We, we practice like for hours and hours every single day to just get this one song right for the competition. We have to stand up all day um, in our lines, uh, learn notes, play them accordingly, and that takes a lot of practice and self-control. And uh, the word that sums all that up is discipline. note is like the tiny spot right in the middle where it makes a sound. Otherwise it's not going to make a sound. And you're going to think you're playing it but you're not actually playing. Give it a One, two, three, four. I was teaching at Jesse Kitchen and my friend said for March break let's go to Tobago. And we saw this band that had school kids, it had elders, they all worked together and it was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. I said, how do I go about getting something like this in the school? Well, call this man Cecil Clark, have him come in and see what he can do for you. I like to see, uh, like my culture, which is steel band, steel band, to move in on an international market. I love to share it with other kids. My parents decided that this would be a great chance if they could get some funding to run a camp for the underprivileged children whose parents couldn't afford the other camp. Kids need to start something early. That's when you catch their interest. That's when they develop a love for it. That's when they, they develop friends, that they something they can do together. The main idea of the program is to keep the kids off of the streets, keep them engaged in a great musical experience, and then the reward is kind of playing in the competition and Carabana Day. 
Toronto's mayor insists the city is still the safest in North America. There are others tonight who dispute that. Last night's mass shooting, the worst in Toronto's history, has led police to warn of retaliation. It happened at a block party in Scarborough. Hundreds of people, including children, were there when the shooting began. And when it was over, 24 people were injured and two people were dead. A mutual friend of mine was killed and then one of my friends was shot and it was maybe like 15 minutes away from me. So when a shooting like that happens and then, um, you know, you have pan camp, I think it's like, it makes you, it makes me feel like more glad for it because this could, this could it could actually be any kid in pan camp, but it's not. Why? Because they're here, they're dedicated, they're committed, you know, they're trying to do something positive, right? There's all kinds of outside influences that affect, um, you know, who we become individually. And uh, I think being exposed to something so positive like this, it really stopped me, myself, from partaking in things that, you know, would end up getting me in trouble in the long run. And the second week, that's when you get, like, all the hard parts, like you get all your runs, and people are getting a little more stressed because of the hard parts and things. Feeling like you're part of the team, like we're the band crew, we're all bandmates, we're all in this together. They have fun, they meet new people, yeah I think that's good too. <laughs> who normally don't get notice from the school body, from the community. People look at them in a different light. As soon as they start to play, they can perform and they belong to something and it gives them that, that sense of belonging, that pride, it's, it's always good. They play different kinds of music. You can take turns when you're doing pen. It's really fun to me because once I hear the beat, then I watch people and see how they play it. Because I'm a dancer, I like dancing. I just hear the music and I'm ready to go. Week three is kind of the gearing up, like you finally start to realize that like, oh my gosh, Pan Alive is in two weeks. Making sure we know the speed so we're not playing too slow or we're not playing too fast. Running over parts over and over again for you, making sure everything's okay. Like little things like making sure you're rolling your notes long enough, knowing when to cut off and knowing when to start and when to stop. Do we gain a lot of skills here? like? just transferable skills like communication skills, teamwork skills, leadership skills. Not a lot of people can say that they've done, like they play Pan for I don't know how many years and they've been part of Caravana and been part of teaching the kids. It's, it's had a, such a great effect on like, who I am today. I One of the best things about Pan would be that it's kids teaching other kids. I'm staff now, so that means making sure that younger kids have their parts. It gave them the leadership skills that he needed, but it also gave him the opportunity to know how to work with a whole bunch of different groups of people, and that's the beauty of this whole entire plan. Like, that I love. After one. One, two, three, four, one. I love Pan Camp, it's great, but sometimes like they, with the kids being really young, they get pretty hyper and sometimes out of control, and it sometimes feels like I'm the only one trying to like calm everything down. And you gotta lead by example, so if I'm doing it, fine. Uh, some kids are doing it, okay, but I need us, like you guys, to help them. Like once they see that we're all doing it, then they're gonna be like, oh shoot, we actually have to do this. They're all patient and they, they understand what what we're going through because they've done it before, so. Well, it feels hard because, and frustrating because like I'm trying and trying and then I can't get it. But then I go to some of the staff members and I ask them for more help and they take their time and try to help me. A few years back, I had an older brother and um, he, was, he was a good guy. He, he really went well, but what, what happened was like, he didn't feel like the world gave him a chance to, you know, be somebody. And 
he wasn't involved in a program like this, you know, like my family tried to get him involved in, you know, Steel Pan and to do something productive and, you know, forward his education. But a few years ago, he died. Um, he got shot, you know, uh, he lived the street life. And I just think things could have been really different if his focus was maybe into something like this instead of whatever it was. I don't even know, making money? I don't know. The week before Pan Alive is crazy. <laughs> um, people are stressed. There's a lot of tension. Everything needs to be perfected. A lot of drilling, a lot of going into sections and practicing and practicing. Um, and also just working on like stage present, things like that. Um, getting shirts ready, um, costumes, decorating the float. This is all a part of it. The one time I wanted to get the day off really badly, and I think of my steel pan, you know, band as my family. So I told work that I had a family emergency because it was an emergency. The emergency was that my family did not have enough tenors to fill up the spots at her gig. So yeah, I told work I had a family emergency and came to pan instead. <laughs> We have people from all different backgrounds, all different nationalities, and it's great. We come from all over the place and everyone just gets along. My mom's from Spain and my dad's from England. My mom's from Hong Kong and my dad's from Nigeria. I'm from Korea, so is my brother who started the same year as me. My, both my parents are from Bangladesh. Chinese, mainly in China. It's Trinidad and Jamaica. Both my parents are Egyptian. My mom's from Montreal and my dad's from Chile, South America. I'm from a mixed race background. I grew up in a predominantly white neighborhood, so it was a little bit difficult because visibly I didn't fit in with everybody that I went to school with. But the beauty of the band was that uh, it was really diverse. So Yusuf and I are the only Muslim campers. Being Muslim, we have to pray five times a day, and there's there's like set times that it has to be each day. For the past couple of years now, Ramadan has happened to fall right in the middle of summer and in the middle of pan camp, which makes it very difficult because, you know, we have to not eat or drink for the entire day. Well, this year, it was 19 hours that Muslims had to go without eating or drinking. It's just really hot and, I don't know, playing bass, there's a lot of like physical exertion and it's just really tiring me out. And I'm spending most of my time here and everybody else is eating their lunch and I'm just like, ah, I'm really hungry. We're all hot, we're all tired. Maybe Friday, what do you think for the last hour or something we have water With school, you study and then you do a test. With Pat, you study and then you jam. of these young kids and their bright faces and how excited they get and then you throw in the fact that we get to compete and we get to see all these other incredible bands and, and hear them perform and, and hear different leaks on different types of music it's incredible it's, it's breathtaking really i think we have a good chance this year i feel incredibly confident that we're really going to put on a great show I'm not a decorator.
fighter. I'm a pad player. It's nervousness. The jitters. It has to be tip top for competition. This is what we've been preparing for the past like two months. This is what we've been practicing like every single day over and over again, drilling and drilling. It's a great feeling because we finally get to showcase what we've been practicing so hard to do. Band number seven, JK Vibrations. the judges ranking doesn't really mean anything to me to me it's just about going out performing your best with your friends and your family as long as we go out there and we play passion I think we've already won we love playing Penn and that's why we've always come and that's why we always will come we'll never be out of the group we'll always just be welcome we can just walk in it's like pick up and play. It's nice to see that from grade one or grade two or grade three, and today, uh, you know, they're going to university, high school, and uh, they still play, you know? We'll be friends forever now, just because of that. When I play my pen, the feeling I get is just like euphoria. Like, it's like my utopia. Oh, it's so fun. I love doing it. It's the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> People need somewhere to belong. And that's why I hope the Steel Plan program goes on forever. It needs to, for all the little kids coming up and for anybody who feels lost.